squid on. First cast, another awesome squid. That is absolutely awesome. Boom, got him on. Well, what a morning. Pretty overcast, better than the uh, last squidding session off the pier. But um, we're gonna give it a crack this morning. It's around tide change right now, so the tide's actually going to an outgoing. And yeah, just starting to change now, as you can tell, the boats are facing towards out the head, so that's an outgoing. But some of the boats are still not quite there, so it's actually changing right now as we speak. So I've got to get the squid jigs in ASAP. Just using the InQ Gold Runner, and um, hopefully we can get a few. Alrighty, just going to try off in the shallows first. Just let that sit there. It's a bit overcast, but that sun, or well, that reflection of it, off the clouds, looks absolutely spectacular. If there wasn't any wind, be a crack of a morning. Yep, guys, squid on. I just had a cast on this side of the pier. First cast, and, um, by looks of it, it's onto a nice squid here. Oh yeah, not too bad. Can't complain, first cast on this side. About two casts in total. Oh yeah, it's a perfect size squid. So I'm gonna get the gaff. Oh, perfect. Could sit the rod there. There we have it. A, uh, a beautiful southern calamari just on the, uh, the gold runner. That's awesome. Yeah, good one. There we have it. Beautiful. Southern calamari just on the Inky Gold Runner there. Sweet. Let's get some more. Very nice. Look it out. So yeah, the tide started to go to an outgoing. As you can see, all the ink air that was out a few meters back. So the tide just started to turn and uh, we scored a beautiful southern calamari. So what you want to do for the jigs, just let it sink about three quarter way down to the bottom and then let it sit there for about two seconds and then do a few twitches, whips, whatever you want to do. Now I find 80% of the time you'll actually catch the squid when the jig's sinking down on the bottom um, so they get it on the drop. So that's why I like to have more um, drops rather than just a fast to medium retrieve. So I'll try this side now in there. Oh, that's on the money in there. So what I'm going to do is, from this point here, I'm going to work my way up. So that's going to cover a lot of ground and hopefully cover a few more squid if they're in the area. So nothing on that cast. Oh, squid chased it in. Yes, come on, grab it, grab it, grab it. It's a decent size one too. 
I've got to quickly fix my rod tip before I get him. Otherwise, I won't be able to bring him in. All right, are you ready, guys? Watch this. Come on, please get it. There we go, come on. Boom. Oh, boom, got him on. Boom, got him on. <laughs> that is awesome. I'll just lift this one. And there we have it. Another awesome squid. And that's um, awesome just seeing it grab the jig. Look at that color in the eye on that one. That is absolutely awesome. So absolutely loving the, uh, the gold runner this morning. So there we go. Alrighty, it's killing it. Not even a bite mark. That's awesome. In the zone again, look at that. Sun's coming up beautifully. Oh, that jig sinking down. Quickly get a plastic bag, put these squid in. Um, since this one's still alive, I'll show you a quick handy tip. Um, so what you wanna do between the head and the hood, so in the neck zone, karate chop and the head and the hood turned white. So you gotta get it in a spot that you hit both the neck part and the head. That's one squid and that's two squid. Can't complain, some beautiful fresh calamari. And um, looking forward to eating them. What I like to do too, if the jig's not too far away from the PR or where you are, so five to 10 meters, what I like to do is, a... oh no, my reel's playing up. And that way you can see if there's a squid in the area um, and they should go for that jig just like that last squid. Oh no, do you hear that? That is not good. Gotta love Shimano gear. Tell you what. So actually, just before in the morning when I was using this reel, it didn't make a sound. Um, that was surprisingly odd because normally this reel, since a couple of weeks, it's been making this crap sound. Um, and then yeah, for the past couple few sessions, there was no sound, but now it's came back and that's gonna be very annoying. He's coming up now, look at that. The wind's supposed to die too, so it's going to be an absolute awesome morning. If you guys know what the problem is with that reel, comment your thoughts in the comments below. So now, what I'm going to do... Oh, look at that sun. It's awesome. So I might have one or two more casts in here. Then we'll work our way up into deep water. I'll just let that sit there. cast straight into the sun. All right guys, let's see everyone's preferences when it comes to tides. For squid fishing, do you like to fish the incoming or the outgoing? I personally find the outgoing the best down the southern end of Port Phillip Bay, um, particularly Mornington Peninsula. I find the tides are a bit better um, I don't know why tide related, I don't know why with the water level, but I find um, outgoing's the best. Depends what you're doing, but pretty much for all species, even on the boat, um, I find outgoing's better. When it comes to whiting fishing, outgoing's really good because I find that um, the water, there's a lot of water flow with an outgoing tide. Um, so comment your thoughts and what tide you think is the best or what you prefer. Um, and we'll see what everyone's uh, preference is. So 
those squid I just got was on the outgoing tide, but you do get them on incoming too. Look at that sun, look how good that is. Clouds just moved off it, and that sun is absolutely awesome. I can actually feel it very nice. There's a school of bait here at the moment, so hopefully there's some squid in the area here too. I think they're actually, yeah, they're, they're pilchards. Um, I think there's some Tommy Ruff under them too. Yep, guys, after so many casts, it's hooked up right here. It's going like a pretty small squid. Ooh, yeah, it's a small one. Awesome snapper bait. Perfect. Nice squid. It's one of these squid. What you want to do is put one hook coming out of the head, one hook coming out of the back end, and that's the ultimate snapper bait. Fresh or frozen, um, just chuck that on hold, and that will definitely, that will definitely uh, convert into a nice snapper. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a session. Squidding slow down a fair bit and surprisingly it's still uh, still choppy and very windy. Um, yeah we got a we got a few squid today or this morning. It's about an hour and a half of fishing. Not too bad. Um, especially with the current um, conditions we've been having really crappy weather and it's been very slow off the piers uh, for squid. So I'm happy with those those few squid. Um, that was on the InQ Gold Runner, and that worked absolutely awesome in the morning. Um, now we're just heading back and have a break, and um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, don't forget to click subscribe down below. Um, it does help a lot. Give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. There's the FG knot. Beautiful. Out of the FG and the double uni knot, which is the preferred knot for your fishing situations. Comment below in the comments and um, let's see everyone's uh, preference.